Hey everybody, we are entering the third full week of our course now. And so what I wanted to do is, is to, again, kind of provide you a little bit of, of, a, of, a, of a sense of what we're going to be doing this week. Um, and it's, it's really about uh, really starting the customer discovery process in a, in a, in a, in a, a, a greater fashion. Um, so the um, um, you, can, you can see here in the business model canvas, which we which we left at the end of last week, and we're starting again using this this tool because this will be the tool that we use sort of throughout the course. But that the idea of customer discovery really is about all the things that I have circled there in the yellow up on the top corner there, right? So it's really about understanding your customers in a way. And I talked about this last week, and you've seen other information about it already. But it's really about understanding your customers in a way. Remember, you you got your idea, right? Your idea for a product or a service, and you know, you, you and that was really sort of why you wanted to kind of think about it in terms of a business. Is hey, is this relevant? Ultimately, what you're doing, right, is 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 you know, hey, I think I have this great idea. Um, and then you're taking and saying, okay, now I think these are the people that would like it. And, and so part of it is understanding why you think those people would like it, the value that it gives them and all that sort of thing. But ultimately at least, remember ultimately what we want to do is this for you to be able to think in terms of like, uh, uh, again, kind of refining your, your thinking in terms of who your customers are, refining your thinking in terms of the, um, the things that your, your product will do and the way it will serve your customers and all that sort of thing. So between re the refinements that you're looking to make uh, from a product perspective or a service perspective and the uh, refinement you're thinking about in terms of your customers and their needs, right? Ultimately, again, remember, talked about being the last week, you're looking for that product market fit, right? Where you can hit that sweet spot where the things that you're doing from a product perspective or from a service perspective um, really meet the the needs, the fundamental needs. I mean, there, there's probably some ancillary ones, but the fundamental needs that your customers say that they need or desire, right? So that's ultimately what we're what we're after here in this in, in this uh, section, and what we're going to spend most of our class on, frankly, from here on out, is, is we're going to be working on customer discovery, and we'll get into the other stuff too. But I mean, customer discovery is the big part. So. Um, the, the the thing I want to mention to you, so we're going to be, so, so again, so you see these little red, uh, I have these two circled up here, because really what we're talking about here um, in terms of value proposition um, is is sort of is is thinking about who your customers are and and what they would find of value in your product, okay? And there's actually a specific tool, sort of like the business model canvas called um, the value proposition canvas that actually takes you through a process to think about obviously those two things. And remember when you're thinking about them, you start with hypotheses, right? These are the things that I think are probably true. And then you actually go out and really talk to people, do some survey work, um, um, do some focus groups, but really most importantly, talk to people, right? Um, to validate those assumptions that you're making and, and to go, okay, yeah, that's true, that's not true. And if that's not true, then that I need to think about what that does for my, uh, for the way I'm thinking about my product service and so on, right? So this process of customer discovery, particularly getting the value proposition right, is really important. And so when you, when we get into your, what you're going to hear when we start talking about the value proposition and, and, and customer discovery, you're going to, there's, you're going to hear the word jobs, right? And, and what jobs are, I mean, most people when they think of jobs, they think about, you know, what you do at work, right? But really what, what in this, in, uh, in, in, in this realm, what really what we're talking about in terms of jobs is anything you do throughout a day, what it, you know, a customer, whomever, right, does throughout their day, right, um, that is an activity that leads you, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, further down the path of fulfilling your daily activities, okay? So it's basically all of your daily activities that, you know, help you get through your day and kind of set you up both emotionally, physically, you know, mentally and all that sort of thing um, to be your best person, right? Um, and so, um, so, and that includes everything from like the, the mundane stuff about like, you know, brushing your teeth. That's a job, right? Driving to work or to school. That's a job, right? Having breakfast. 
uh, doing your homework. You know, all those different things are different types of jobs, right? And then there are certain things relating to those jobs that um, are, are pains and gains, right? Either things that get in the way of making that job easy, um, or, or something that could, you know, that if I, I did it differently, it could really, you know, give me free up time for me to do something else, whatever it is. So those are the sort of the, the focuses, the pains and gains. But I really wanted to make sure that you understood when we're talking about jobs in this instance, we really are talking about just daily activities, okay? And understanding your customer. If you can understand everything a customer might do during the day, you then be able to kind of match where your product kind of comes into play in any given day, right? So anyway, that's, that, that's really the idea behind building um, um, your uh, understanding your customer segments and really understanding the values that they hold near and dear to them and the way your, your, your products and services can help them with their jobs, okay? So um, the last thing that I do want to mention to you is as we kind of continue through this, is you'll notice that, you know, even though kind of these things are presented sort of in a linear fashion, okay, this is not, um, this is an iterative process. So, so don't think about it in terms of even the canvas. If you look at the canvas, it's not step one, step two, step three, right? It's laid out um, um, in, in a fashion where you could literally start anywhere, right? Because there's, um, but, um, but you, but, um, because there, there's not just like a one, you know, a one way of doing this. Okay. Generally, though, when you talk about, you know, uh, you have to have your customer information front and center all the time. So that's generally the starting point. Okay. But I don't want you to think about like, okay, start by identifying your customers, then do this and do this and do this. It'll seem that way, but as you kind of start walking through the process, what you're going to notice is it's like, oh, when I'm thinking about my value proposition, something's going to come into your head about um, um, customer relationships or channels. I mean, those type of things will just naturally come um, as you start playing around with the, the, the business model canvas. And so start filling in those blanks accordingly. So don't think about it again as sort of a linear process. Think about customer discovery in its totality as, as we kind of work through this. All right, that's all I'm going to say. All right, have a, have a great uh, week, and uh, I'll, I'll see you soon.